Hey, good morning, Joe Deary, Powerful Improvements, Platinum, Connecticut. I'm out here in Woodstock, Connecticut today with Quinn, and we've got a big project. I got this condo uh, development. We got I don't know how many units here, half a dozen units or so. We got some big garages over there, which Quinn is working on, and we're doing gutter cleaning here today. Uh, before I do that, however, I'm going to go up and take a look with the drone because I'm guessing that maybe some of these gutters are already clear. We had torrential rain yesterday, uh, so everything should be fairly well flushed. And uh, let's see what we got going on up there. Clear. Clear. Another one clear. And these condos are right out here on the golf course. <clears throat> I've flown the drone over the top of the building now. We're going to inspect these rear gutters. Man, this thing just saved me so much time. Probably 80% of these gutters here don't even need to be cleaned. So I've only got the end gutters on the trees and one drain in the back that's clogged. Everything else looks fantastic. None of these front gutters need any attention. Same thing with the back. Loving it. Money well spent right there. Effort and safety saved. All right, so we got Quinn over here on the garage, removing these broken guards. Extremely failed. You can see even with these guards, He's got a wheelbarrow full of debris and he's not even done yet. Nasty, huh, Quinn? Yeah. Yeah. Look at this load. <laughs> Shingles and everything. So, gutter guards work, but still gotta maintain them. All right, look at that. We got another brimming gutter. Let's take the boogie off the downspout. It's the most fun part of the whole job right here. Oh yeah. Look at that. All these brains down through there. All these boogies are going to come right out there. You can pick them up down below. Here it comes. Here it comes. Let's see. Give it a little helping hand here. Come on, boogies. Oh, there we go. Come on, boogies. Nice. Oh, it's starting to move. There we go. Come on. You can do it. Come on. Come on, boogies. Got plenty of water behind it there. They're coming. They're coming. I may have to do one more little ladder placement over there. This is like a piece of uh, roofing debris. And I don't think... I can quite reach it with this extension. We certainly don't want to lean too much. Come on. No, just missing it. Maybe I'll have Quinn. Oh, hi, sec. Come on. Almost, almost got it. Oh yeah, now I can get it. This will come and clog the gutter again in no time flat. The things you do for love. All right, here we go. There we go. Here we go. Very nice. Look at all that. These are nice industrial oversized gutters too. So these will continue to flow pretty nicely. Beautiful. Monday morning after Melissa's been gone for the weekend and Mike's been left on his own. All right, we're out here in beautiful Zadora Heights in Killingly. This is a older school neighborhood, some new houses, some old houses. 
It's been fairly established since I was a kid. We do a lot of work up in here. We got a little ranch to do, then we have another big raised ranch to do, and then an aluminum siding house to quote. Then we have a big house wash to do at another neighborhood where we get a lot of work and probably wrap the day up with one last gutter cleaning. It's a nice busy day. Quinn's on 200 feet of hose, truck's way over there, wrapped around to the corner here, running the 2.1 injector on this property. It's not too, too bad. And we wanna to try to conserve a little bit of chemical today. Piece of cake. A couple guys have been asking about what's my new heart healthy cardiac diet. And it's really not rocket science. No more fast food is the biggest component for me. No burgers, no fries, no chips, no donuts, no cookies, no baked goods of any kind. I'm trying to avoid sugars. I'm trying to avoid caffeine. I've been drinking one cup of coffee a day, half calf in the morning, and that's been no problem. I'm trying to stay hydrated, of course. That's one of my biggest issues that I do not drink enough during the day. So I'm making a point of drinking more daily. Of course, I'm taking some medication now, but I haven't had a French fry or a potato chip or a cookie or anything like that in over two weeks. And it really hasn't been that bad of a transition. set up and running again on the next property of Zador Heights. Raised ranch that I've washed at least three different times. We're doing gutter cleaning for the guy here today. He's got gutter guards. He's concerned about a couple of them not draining well. So when I have gutter guards, my routine is $50 per climb. So each downspout I have to go up and take a guard off of, check to make sure there's a boogie on the drain, 50 bucks. So 50, 100, same thing in the back. 200 on gutter cleaning here today tool belt with what we need this is the tool that usually takes the screws out also have a multi-bit screwdriver with me if needed and that Most should do it have these hex head screws and you see this just takes it off nice and easy if i had to do multiples up here i would bring a cordless drill but i'm only popping one guard per drain and again each time we come up is 50 bucks. That's how we do it. Perfect. It's still 50 bucks. It doesn't matter if it's perfect or not. You came up here to look. That's the fee. The client understands. They want you to do the inspection. Okay? Don't feel bad about it. here at Pine Knolls in Killingly. This is a neighborhood I've done almost almost every house in the neighborhood. I think there's 17 houses here and I've washed like 15 or 16 of them over the last couple years. We've been on this property one time before. I think it was two years ago if not three and this house is very very dirty. It sits in the woods surrounded by trees. Doesn't get too much sun. We had also quoted her for a roof wash on her front roofs, but it's a little cost prohibitive. So we might do it next season instead. She's seen some of the neighbor's roofs that we've done. And of course they look spectacular. There's a lot of sandy colored shingles in here, which are my favorite to clean. They come back so dramatically different. We're running the 1.8 on 250 feet of line. You can see that I'm wrapped all the way around to the truck and work our way back around to the front, reel it up, just like we always do. You can see this roof would be a perfect candidate. All black streaking over there, all around the dormers. And again, it's that light tan sandy color. We got Quinn on soap mode. All we have left is the front. You can hear the hiss just kick on there. We'll be done here in a few minutes and then we have one last pretty decent sized gutter job to wrap up our day. It is still pretty early like 1.30. We'll be done here within about 40 minutes at best. 
We'll see how the day plays out. It's about 143 degrees here today. It's so hot that I turned on the air conditioning in my truck for the first time. And I'll bet you that I never ran the air conditioning even one time in my 250. I'm anti-air conditioning. I like to stay acclimated to whatever's happening outside, but today it got me. I had to put the AC on. We took about a 35 minute lunch break. Cool things down. All right, we're out here for another gutter cleaning in Woodstock and I'm putting the drone up first because I don't know what's going on here. I got a couple of high placements in the back. The property drops away. And we're gonna make sure we're not putting up ladders unnecessarily. Let's go take a look. All right, that one's good. We can run that out with a blower, get the little bit of debris. Okay, that gutter is brimming with water. So we're gonna go up on the ladder right there and pop that boogie on that side. All right, and of course that highest gutter right there with the drop away in the back is why we have the drone. And that one is sitting with water in it too. So there's some 32 action happening back here. We're gonna put the drone away and just get after it. See, nasty. Oh, it's so warm. I'm baking in the sun. There we go. Come on, baby. Come on. Smells good too. That's nice. Very nice. And one just piece, one piece in the middle there, right at the stairs, that I'll have to go get. There you go. And that's the placement I wanted to avoid searching with the drone. 32 is maxed out, fully extended. But she does reach at the right angle. So I'll be able to go up there and pop that drain and come down and pop the one below it too. And then hopefully just go to the end and take care of the last one. Let's go take a look. That's what we're dealing with up here. Let's pull the boogies yeah, right there. There it is. Keep the flow going here. a lot of real nice flow. We look pretty clean all the way down. We're gonna go to the other end and pop that drain. Not too bad, not too bad. Home and done for the day. Great day with Quinn. As soon as the sun goes down and cools off a little bit, we're taking the little scout for a ride. Look how small that thing is. Oh my God, look at, it. it's like a toy crazy how little it is take that top off go for a quick spin see if we can see a little wildlife with wifey you guys have a good night catch you tomorrow